Well, on university campuses like this across the country, there's no shortage of debates and discussions and critical thinking. But one group of students found out that their opinions won't always be well received. Five Ryerson film students say they don't regret a video that they made that prompted their university's president to apologize for its content. We were just asked to make it clear that those are our opinions and not the schools. Everybody thinks the falls is just like either people don't live here, it's just an attraction, or it's, it's just like this great place that like mini Vegas or something. This short documentary about Niagara Falls was only ever meant to be part of a school assignment, but it's gotten some attention, including that of the city's mayor. It was not representative of the city. Yes, it certainly represented one aspect, an isolated aspect, but it was not a fair, balanced representation of Niagara Falls. The four minute film contrasts the flashy lights of the city's tourist district with some of the rundown neighborhoods behind the falls. But the mayor says he was surprised to see a production like this coming from Ryerson, given the city's connection with the university. We've been working with Ryerson for the last couple of years. We're trying to get them to open up a digital media zone in the downtown, an incubator center. And we've had great ongoing uh, discussions and relations with them for the last couple of years. So we're still in the midst of that process. Mayor Diodati says Ryerson's president, Mohammed Lakshmi, sent him an apology, saying the film did not reflect the university's opinion, and the school requested their logo be taken off the film's credentials. That shot right there just... These students say they're still standing by their film, but they understand the university's concerns. We did not have a disclaimer or state that this was not something that Ryerson said, go and make this. So we did not state that. So I think that that was a legitimate and rightful response, because if we had the disclaimer, this, none of this would have happened because everyone would have been clear on those are our film, this is Ryerson's opinion. But this documentary filmmaker says she would have liked to see an institution of higher learning like Ryerson take a stronger stance in support of freedom of expression. I think it's important for them to respect that and to actually voice that although we have a difference of opinion in terms of the message of the film, we do support the right of our filmmakers. They didn't ask us to take down the video or anything. So if, for example, we were asked to take down the video, then sure, that would have been an infringement on those rights. Now, the students say they are planning to make a longer film on this subject. They say they, that it served its purpose. It's getting people talking about the issue. They also have a meeting with the university's president next week. We did reach out to his office for comment, but he did not get back to us.